Oh, good morning, Interbet fans, and welcome to the preview for Turfentane. We're on the inside track Thursday, the 3rd of March. 25 pentrometer, good to soft the courses, which is perfect for the horses. 7.5 false rail at the 500 meter mark. Draw is critical. And uh, we kick off with the first race at quarter to 12. And uh, this is a maiden plate, uh, 1450 meters. And I, I think twice a miracle does look like the right horse. Improved over the course and distance. Good form. The blinkers improved it last time. Uh, gets a reasonable draw. Gets Muzieni. Um, there's a lot to like about Twice a Miracle, got to have a big chance. But there are a lot of relatively unexposed horses here. Seven Phantom of the Forest, well this is one of them. Uh, he's had two runs, he's been gelded, he's come back from a break, drawn to uh, just watch for any betting follow through. Alborani, another one, drawn 10, that's not in his favour, but for he's only come up for three rides, so make a very close note of that, two of them for the De Kock stable. Alabaster improved last time with uh, Mark Khan aboard it and the time before wasn't a bad run either the last twice Mark Khan's ridden it and then Belly Magic and Porfirio both of them look like they could be big improvers in this type of race so it's not all cut and dried it looks like uh, quite a difficult contest and I think that you want to wait until the last minute to put on your buy pots where you see the betting moves race two maiden played fillies and mares 1450 meters and a nine gilded butterfly very good first run and looks like she'll be able to uh, win a race like this the trouble is she drawn 10 so matsuyama has a job on his hand to get her into a reasonable position because there are a couple in here that are going to go that's uh, one red hot um, course and distance it's run three times two seconds that looks like a runner into the eth in the ether number two uh, from the Grand Maroon Yard, um, it gets a claim and draw one, and the blinkers certainly improved this one, so that will go well too. Uh, Waishong Mowing has his first runner as a racehorse trainer. Nice to see Waishong out there, and all the very best to him. Uh, he was an exceptional jockey, and he's a very good person, so you know he's certainly worth thinking of giving a horse or two to. Seven critical thinking this might improve as well from draw three. Race three, divided, 83, that goes 1,600 meters. And um, when I looked at this, I thought Mbewe was the right horse, got good form, everything in his favor. Gavin Larina rides for Sean Terry, but the stable looks desperately out of form. I know they're having a winner here or there, but it's not the normal Sean Terry type of um, form that they're in. When they run horses, they're always um, uh, very close to winning. Seven Humdinger from the Mike de Cockyard. I've always liked this filly. I think she's got tremendous class. That Mike's waited for a 14.50 and uh, Richard Furry comes up to ride her. Is a very good pointer. She looks good value at six to one. Greek Miss, um, a very easy win first time. Now Warren's not riding this. Matsuyama gets a ride and uh, will be interesting to see how she goes. And she should go well because uh, Let There Be Light will probably be the pacemaker. She shows pace, but she is third run. She could improve, and Dance Lesson also could improve. Race four, merit-rated uh, fillies and mares, uh, and they go 16, uh, 1,800 meters. Um, and uh, I think that uh, Vickle Spickle might be able to follow up. She won well last time, this filly, and I expect her to go extremely well here. Um, I think this is a good race for her, and uh, she didn't get... A big merit rating for winning a maiden 69 looked very very reasonable she's had four runs one win and two places and for uh, horses of that sort of caliber uh, 69 is a good merit rating so she could go in again escape artist uh, Nazira and uh, devilish dancer one two and three all got chances devilish dancer second run after a rest that doesn't impress me and Anna Tura might be the better of the two. Van Rensburg now rides that one for, uh, in place of uh, Warren Kennedy, and has drawn two. Race five, Mary Red at 92, they go 2,000 meters. Well, I like Supreme Dance. Uh, it's very interesting that Gavin Arena's not riding it. He's uh, jumped onto number one, back to black, and you would have thought that he's had the choice. And that he's jumped onto back to black is very important because uh, uh, this horse, should have a big chance but have a close look it got six point 
point penalty for its second last time. It was under suffering, but six points uh, is more than a win in most uh, instances. So that might stop back to black, but the Lorena does ride it. Flying Bull, got good form, gets Muzieni now. Uh, Duke of Sussex, excellent form. He got three points for running the uh, third last time. That doesn't help him. And then Quintero gets a two and a half claim, which brings him into the weights at the right type of weight. Race six, merit rated 80, uh, 2,000 meters. Well, I thought this was um, either number five, about to storm. I really like this horse. It's going 2,000 meters for the first time. I think this will suit it uh, out of a Fort Wood mare and well drawn it too. So about to storm, my top choice. If that doesn't win, anything can. Secret Desire's got a five-point penalty, but gets a two-and-a-half claim. A brewer now gets to ride that. And then have a close look to Sean Terry's two runners, Earl and Rock the Globe. Earl's got good form. Rock the Globe might improve over the 2000. Blue Moon City, uh, neither his last run, will improve. And Grimaldi, the other Paul Peter runners, drawn 15. Uh, might be difficult to overcome that. Race 7, 1,000 metres, fillies and mares. And uh, Sweet Sensation is second run after the race. That's number one. Big Eyed Girl does look like the right filly. She's uh, drawn seven, which doesn't help. But this is third run, and she's one from one course and distance. Her style is also one for one course and distance and gets the blinkers and runs on. Rosaro's um, just about your favorite, but uh, got six points for winning last time, which was um, a very big penalty uh, indeed uh, in a field that looked like it lacked a lot of class. Race eight, merit rated uh, fillies and mares ago, 1,000 meters. Well, I thought Abelis was the right uh, filly here. Uh, she's come down in the merit rating. She dropped three points last time for her, th her third behind Imposing Angel. Um, she's got very good form and she's drawn one and the stable is in good form. So she's hard to beat. If she doesn't win, it's very open. Johan Janssen van Furen's got two very nice runners. Insatiable, number one, and Benita number 11. Benita might be the better of the two, although Insatiable's much shorter in the betting. Um, I think that she's a big improvement, Benita. Here the Trumpet, second, uh, two good runs. And interesting to see Derek David back from uh, Mauritius, uh, having his first ride here, and um, I don't know how long he's here for, but um, he's, I thought he had settled in Mauritius, so it will be interesting to see how these go. There's no racing there at the moment, so maybe that's why he's waiting till the season starts. From me, James Goodman and the whole Interbet team, uh, interesting days racing at uh, Turpentine. Uh, the weather should be perfect and should be a lot of fun. So get on to the exotics and remember, bet with the tote. Only place that the money goes back into racing.